I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very interesting thinking and application question for you. We need to prove that the minimum value of f of x equals to x minus a whole square plus x minus b whole square occurs when x is equals to a plus b over 2. What is the minimum value? We need to find that also. Interesting, isn't it? Well, you can always pause the video, answer the question. In case you want to learn from me, you can also send an email on the address given. Now, let us go for the solution of this particular problem. So, when we want the axis, let us expand this, simplify, write it kind of a standard form of the equation. And then, we know minus b by 2a, right? That should give us the axis. So, rewriting the equation, which is f of x equals to x minus a whole square plus x minus b whole square. Let us expand and simplify. So, we get x square minus 2ax, right, plus a square plus x minus b whole square is x square minus 2bx plus b square, right? Now let's combine the like terms. We get x square and x square becomes 2x square The constants are a square b square but the coefficients of x are with these two terms, right? Which is minus 2ax and minus 2bx and the left terms for constants are a square plus b square correct so we get that and we can actually rewrite this as 2x square minus you can take 2 also common but let me okay let's take 2 also common and x also common right so we get 2x common and here we have a plus b. And here we have a constant a square plus b square. Now, what is the axis equation? Well, as you know, in standard form, if I have an equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, in that case, the axis is at x equals to minus b by 2a, right? So here also we have a standard form where this term here is b and this is a, correct? So we can write down the axis from here. So axis x is equal to minus of this. This is minus. It becomes 2a plus b, right? Coefficient of x over 2 times 2, which is a. And that gives us a plus b over 2, correct? So we have shown that the axis is indeed average value of a and b, right? So that part has been done. Now the thing is that we need to find the minimum value of this particular function. So how do you find the minimum? In this equation itself, we can substitute x as a plus b over 2 and then see what is the minimum value, right? So that is the way to do it. So for minimum value, we can also complete the squares and then do it. That's another way of doing it, right? But now, since we know that x is a plus b over 2, let us substitute a plus b over 2 for x and find the minimum value, okay? So we'll do it on a fresh page. So basically, we'll find the value of f at a plus b over 2, right? In our equation, which is, uh, let me write down the equation here first, right? We got 2x square minus a plus b times, well, it was 2 here, and x, right? And we have plus a square plus b square, right? So that was the equation, correct? 
So it is minus 2x square, I mean 2x square minus 2x times a plus b plus a square plus b square. So let's substitute a plus b by 2 for x. We get 2 times a plus b by 2 whole square, right? And then minus 2 times we have a plus b here and x is a plus b by 2, right? And here we have plus a square plus b square, right? So opening this bracket, we get a plus b whole square over 4 times 2 is half, right? Here we have a square plus b square. So let's write down a plus b whole square, right? Over 2, right? Half of it. And here 2 and 2 cancel. So we get minus a plus b whole square. And uh, a square plus b square is basically a plus b whole square minus 2ab, right? So that's what we get. Now we can simplify a plus b whole square and minus a plus b whole square. They cancel, right? So these two terms cancel. So we are left with a plus b whole square, half of it, minus 2ab, right? So I can rewrite this as, so I'll multiply, take half common, right? I can take half common, correct? So here we have a plus b whole square minus 2ab, which is half of a square plus b square plus 2ab minus 2ab, right? So we have half of a square plus b square, correct? So that becomes the minimum value in this particular case. Make sense? So we have the minimum value of a square plus b square divided by 2. Perfect. Of course, there is a minimum value since the parabola really opens up in this particular case. So, so we have a minimum value which is given at x equals to a plus b over 2 and it is a square plus b square divided by 2. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.